Welcome back to Concourse Garage, everybody. Get some sunglasses on, huh? Welcome to Southwest Florida. I'm a Balder R. Your ever sweaty Southern California. Uh, Where's Motley? What are you doing? It's too hot out, Daddy. I know. She was out there, dug a hole and laying in it. Came in all dirty. Good job. 100%. Good dog. Helmets all over the place. I got another kit for this helmet I picked up at the dealer. What do you want? What are you doing? What do you want? Why are you following me? What? 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 And I'll put, as you just put a sticky on here. I'll be using this, the scene again. I see, I tried mounting it on the bars. I'll show you the helmet. I'll show you the buggy. Um, KLX 300. Let's get it out. These emissions are getting ridiculous. There's nothing coming out. When I was a kid, you couldn't you couldn't stand behind a car, you'd die. This is what I did with the tail. Twenty-five miles. This is what I ended up doing with the tail because I want some uh, rooster tail protection. That Z1000 has a tail tidy and riding in the rain, which has, that water has dirt from the road in it and it hits you in the back and the water and uh, it runs down your back uh, to your, right down in your, your bum and stops there. It's a flat surface on the seat. It's not pleasant. And this thing rooster tails, of course, it's a dirt bike, man. Deep sand here in Florida. So as I just cut that off and smoothed it off and I cut off the side reflectors. They'll never know. So I was going to get the tail tidy. What I wanted to talk to you about today was a couple mods that you don't need. Which is the foot peg. So I'm like 6 foot and size 10 with these boots on. It's fine. I've never slipped. I, you know, and they engineer and test. And there's other things that people are putting wider pegs on, they're having trouble manipulating their controls. So, you don't need pegs. Yeah, of course. First thing is pipe and the air box. I took the seat strap off too. Um, this is a little too far forward and it looks better. Of course, the first thing is going to be your, your pipe. And that's on the way any day now. Uh, Del Kevick, Calvin, and the air box snorkel. Uh, no. I will update. But I just wanted to tell you, you don't need the pegs, and you don't need to raise the bars. I'm six foot, and I'm fine, and I do a lot of stand-up riding. Now, I have the super motor mirrors on here. Um, and they're a little lower, but they're, they're bigger. They're almost rectangular. Uh, you get a lot more view, good for the street. And they're not in the way. They've tweaked them. Uh, a little forward, and I, like I said, I did a lot of stand-up riding. It was no problem whatsoever. I never slipped on the pegs, and I was going through deep sand, um, and I had to put a foot down a couple, a few times on a regular basis. Uh, but I never slipped off the pegs, and I never missed the pegs. It's a non-issue. People are just hyping that up in their minds, and then going out and buying them. It's, it's a non-issue, and the, so is the bars. To me, bars are perfectly fine. So I would say, it, don't order that stuff. Of course, it's going to need a pipe. Now, they've changed the baffling. Um, I think the 250 had two screws here. 
and you could easy it out. But if I'm putting a pipe on it in a day or two, yeah, it's been fine. It's a torquey little thing. You can hear how quiet it is. Uh, the suspension is excellent. This thing goes through deep sand. Second gear, keep up your speed in the in the torque range. Um, no problemo. It's a beast in the dirt. And uh, I was on the road yesterday, a 45 mile an hour B road going to the store, we'll drop something off real quick. And um, everybody's passing me because they see this little dirt bike. Oh, yeah, look at this kitty little tires in our way. What's that doing on the road? I, said, I can only imagine what they're thinking because I never see so people in such a hurry to get around me. And I'm in the slow lane, I'm doing like 50. Speed limit's 45. And they're flying by me. So this last guy, you know, he starts to come around me, so I I crank it on. And um, he goes all the way up to 70, and so do I. And I'm like, this is crazy. They're in such, they freak out, and they just want to get away from this crazy little dirt bike. Oh, this shouldn't be, is that legal? Get away. They're just go nuts, get around you. Good looking from the front, huh? So, um, and I picked up this HJC. It's light as a feather, comfortable as heck. On for a buck and a half at the dealer, the CSMX2, and I even have some hundred percent goggles over there. Are not my favorite. I have like three or four goggles and, and more on order. I ordered a second pair of these because they are so good. These are my favorite. And these lenses, uh, you can still see through them real good. It, they're not dark. And they cut the glare like a pair of sunglasses. And this is some cheapo $20 pair of stuff. They got nice thick foam. They have this removable nose piece. I leave the nose piece in and it fills that, that area where the helmet stops and it, it picks up that and yeah I had stuff bouncing off of there you can see the bug guts on there uh, so you, you don't need the hundred percent unless you you know you got money to throw away uh, and so I ordered a second pair of these in a different frame color I think black or something uh, and and this fill this the best of all without pinching my nose, without being too high or too low, you know, you order a bunch and you try them all and these are the ones I'll have to look it up on Amazon and get you the, the name. But, uh, yeah, no, t tail tidy on the street bike is bad enough. I did the same thing on the KLX as I did to the concourse here. I just cut the reflector off the bottom. Nobody's ever given me grief about it. It has blue reflectors back here if they want to be particular about it. It has the side reflectors, front and rear, I don't care. But this <laughs> jump down, <laughs> that's bad. So that's all I cut off of there. And uh, that don't look so bad, does it? And I have a lot of protections. <laughs> all right, get yours, we'll see you. Stay the way.